Good day everyone, this is JB Morales and for this video, we discuss the last topic for mathematics for efficiency which is graph theory. In particular, we discuss uh, the problem on shortest path or fastest route from a starting point to a destination. Now, the mathematics that we will discuss in this video is much simpler compared to the mathematics that is used in several applications such as Waze or Google Maps. So, to begin, let's consider this portion of Malate and say, for instance, that this is our starting point and this is our destination. Now we can view the map in a much simpler sense by having this diagram. We can treat the intersection as small circles. And in case two intersections are joined by a road or a street, uh, we draw a line segment in between them. So going back to our situation, this is the starting point and this is the destination. The problem is, what is a fastest route from the starting point to destination? Now, if we will be using uh, some applications such as Google Maps, uh, they will suggest this. So Google Maps will suggest this route. Turn right, right, up, 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 then left, left. So Google Maps will suggest this path. Now, let's compare this route to other possible routes. So according to Google Maps, the suggested route is just 7 minutes. The other uh, suggestion is also 7 minutes going through here. And then finally, going all the way here is 9 minutes. Now what we have just witnessed is just one of the applications of a branch of mathematics known as graph theory. Now, what is this graph theory in the general sense? Basically, graph theory is a branch of mathematics that deals with the study of relations between objects. Usually, the, the objects being studied are represented by these small circles and in case the objects are related in some manner, we draw a line segment between them. Say, for example, you are trying to study people and the relationship is, say, for example, if they are uh, friends on social media platforms. Now, the relationship uh, between objects is not necessarily two-way. Some relationships are one-way. For instance, uh, for in the social media Facebook, the relationship is uh, two-way. Whereas in other social media platforms, say Twitter or Instagram, the relationship is just one way. Because you may follow someone, but that person does not necessarily follow back. Now, where did this graph theory, or when did this graph theory uh, started? So it started in the 1700s in Russia, where back then people are wondering, in this part of Russia, is it possible to take a walk through town, crossing each of the seven bridges right here, exactly once, and ending up where you started? So this is the questions that came to the minds of the people back then. And because of this problem, um, Leonard Euler transformed the problem into uh, the diagram. So the diagram goes like this. For land masses, uh, we treat the land masses as these small circles. Now, if the two land masses are joined by a bridge, we draw um, a line segment joining them. 
So for example, here, this one, these two land masses are joined by this bridge. So we draw a line segment between them. Similarly, these two uh, land masses are joined by this bridge. So again, we draw another line segment right here. So completing all possible uh, relations between two land masses, we would end up with this diagram. Now, according to Euler, it is not possible to take a walk through town crossing each of the seven bridges exactly once and ending up where you started. Now, the solution he come up with is related to this one. So, uh, earlier, we end up with this diagram and the problem was uh, to cross all the bridges exactly once and end up where we started. So we can translate the problem in terms of this. Can you draw the diagram without lifting the pen and without tracing lines more than once or tracing line segments more than once? So we can try. Let's say you start here and then trace this line and then trace this line segment and then oops i lifted the pen let's start over okay so so let's try to draw this diagram without lifting pen and without tracing lines more than once so we can trace this line this line go here 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 and here Okay, notice that I missed this line segment. Let's try another um, another uh, tracing. So let's start this time over here. So you can trace this line segment, this line segment, this line segment, this this and this okay however i missed this line segment so notice that no matter how hard you try you cannot uh, draw this diagram without lifting the pen and without tracing lines or line segments more than once so this is how euler this is how euler provided the solution to the problem on crossing the seven bridges exactly once and ending up where you started. So this ends the overview and the origin of graph theory. For the next video, we will discuss some concepts that are important in order to uh, solve the shortest path problem or the fastest route problem.